use my little Kiroro Gundam thing as like a side. No, you look for problem areas like, you know, mold line. <laughs> this is one of the Yoko clusters. Because that's a major stress point. When this <laughs> what? <laughs> It's that I'll be going through the process of showing the inspection of a piece. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you guys were holding hands and touching. Never mind. <laughs> Together for five minutes or 20 hours. I can't get this fitted all the way in. Let that dry overnight. Oh, by the way, here's a sanding tool. Now, it's held on by two fingers. Totally strong. Now, washing parts. Uh, these these kits usually to preserve the scrubbing with dish soap and whatnot. I have process really sucks. What? But then if you don't do it, they're dry on their own. Exciting, isn't this? Parts getting ready to be fitted. It kind of looks de decent, right? Yeah, question. What kind of primer do you use? What kind of primer do I use? All the little dots. Yes, thank you. Put light on it and it cures in about five minutes. And you prime it, prime it to check for the bubbles. So the bubbles are gone. I don't like, you know, rough skin. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost shiny. Is it shiny? Gray tone. With the, with the initial primer, all the process, uh, my process is called pre-shading. <laughs> Why did I put this in? You see that I've gotten the lighter areas with the lighter shade. So I just take a medium shade, put it in my airbrush. Yeah, I picked up off of uh, Cody's coupe. He's glossy. <laughs> she looks wet. <laughs> I'm a camera decal. Put it, find the place, put it, you know. I could cut off the excess. And the reason why I did a gloss coat first because your deep gets part of the skin. And it doesn't look like you have a lot of uh, areas where you need it here is I wanted to paint a metallic color to the skin. Now what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go for a candy You guys know what anime this is. Thank you. Because it's multiple layers. So right now I have the skin mask, the kind of like a burnt metal look. And to show you that I'm not lying about the paint chipping issues. I had a paint chip kit. Now you notice that, I don't know how many of you guys know, I wanted to do something a little sexier with this. So I mask this off and I'm gonna paint the unmasked areas black, right? Unmask some of the other areas and paint it with a clear gray. You guys are snickering. That looks like fine. It's kind of cool, right? It's a cool. Uh, Asagi kid has some nylons around her arms. And how do I know how to sew and she doesn't? <laughs> nylons. Show. I haven't pressed it all together so that you see that her leg has a chunk of her. Those things that a lot of people are very, very apprehensive about. The reason why I did that is because I was deaf. I'm so I'll still definitely afraid of working on. It. So what I do is I use a pencil and draw in the eyes. Why do we just makes it worse? This is just inking or with the with the small brush, I'm just careful using enamels, eyelids, painted details on the eyebrows. Um, not too bad a job. I mean I, a lot of old modelers they have those little glasses that like flip over and they have those magnifying glasses. They just have two piece hair areas where you have this ugly scene. And you might be asking is why the hell did I bother painting it if I was gonna do that? Right? Anyone have that question? Apply mask the head just so I don't have overspray. So if you look at this, you can see that under the hair there's like uh, my base color. So it doesn't look like looks like when she's done. Ooh, sexy. No? Now, how many of you guys know what anime this is from? Still this. How many of you guys want to see what her underwear looks like? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Same guy back there. Okay, that's what, yay. yay. Sexy. And the stockings, same thing. Nice I didn't do soaps. the nylon stockings for her because I wanted to do a different style. What this was, it was a, a smoke color that I sprayed over the black or over the black lines and over her the back of some chick. 
Once this is done, I'm just going to take my makeup brush that I stole. Now, here's a couple of advanced techniques. Rare earth magnets are not that advanced, but some, you know, I want to put a magnet there because I want her, this kid or hold on to the guitar without glue corresponding hole in our hand. Oh, gee. Put the magnets in. Put, put. Uh, oh, were you thinking? Oh, no, sorry. No, no, no. Okay. So that's, anyone know record? That's her little guitar that. Now uh, these magnets are very strong. Oh wait, I'm an engineer. So, painting the guitar. Okay. The brush to the surface of the guitar to with a different tone of. Uh, I just took a couple of clear, clear colors and mixed. Uh, <laughs> and that building is called applying a fade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the realism. But Clem, it's animated. Yes, I. Before I sold them. That's right. I sell my children. <laughs> and she's laughing. <laughs>